So two Aussies, a Canadian, and a Mexican walk into a bar. Sounds like the start of a joke, doesn't it? It's actually not. Keep watching to learn the story of Tequila Tromba. Hi everybody. So we've all had that really bad experience with the tequila when normally we've probably been drinking everything else all night, whether it be cocktails, beer, wine. And at the end of the night, we decide to have a shot of tequila. Normally at that time, it's a really nasty tequila, a mixed dough, something that's not made that well, and maybe even has a Mexican hat on the bottle. Now this is probably not unfamiliar for two Aussies by the name of Nick Reed and James Sherry and probably even more so for their Canadian friend, Eric Brass. Who would have thought that this unlikely trio would have been responsible for launching premium spirit brand Tequila Trumba? Nowadays, Tequila Trumba is extremely popular in bars across Australia, Canada and America. However, in 2007, the trio found themselves living in the Haliscan Highlands. This is the heart of tequila country. And although they mightn't have had a great appreciation for Jalisco's fiery spirit, they soon went up to the highlands. They fell in love with the story, the place, and all the care that goes into it before this spirit arrives in our hands. After falling in love with the Mexican spirit, the country, and maybe even a couple of Mexican spicy senoritas, the boys set themselves a mission to change perceptions of tequila in America and Canada. The guys, however, had absolutely no experience in making tequila. And by a stroke of good luck, or maybe even fate, along comes Rodrigo Sedano. The son of Marco Sedano, master distiller of over 40 years, working at one of the world's largest tequila brands, Don Julio, they decided to get together, partner up and start their own tequila. Nowadays, Rodrigo and Marco are responsible for every single drop of tequila that leaves the distillery. And most importantly, they're also owners of the brand. The word tromba refers to the intense thunderstorms and downpours that are very common amongst the highland countrysides. Tequila tromba is made from 100% blue Weber agave. It is roasted in brick ovens. The sweetly cooked agave is pressed with roller mills and they don't use the diffusion process, which is really popular amongst high volume tequila companies. It's distilled twice in copper pot stills. It is then diluted down to 36% ABV to be bottled. If you want to learn more about the seven steps of tequila process, make sure you check out the link at the end of this video. Now you're probably wondering why it's diluted down to 36% ABV. The reason for that is Marco says that he likes to sip his tequila between 35 and 38% ABV. Now let's give this a try. Okay, so on the nose, I'm getting freshly cut green herbs, caramelized agave, a really nice sort of green herbal aroma, caramelized agave, and really nice green vegetal aromas. It's got a light fruity agave sort of sweetness. In a way, it reminds me of grilled pineapples on the palate. Some mint, light pepper, pineapple, banana, a bunch of uh, these really sort of tropical flavors. After a swallow, I'm getting a really nice sort of peppery warming spice. It's definitely starting to heat up my palate, but not in a bad way. It's not discomfort. It's just really, really nice and warming. I love this tequila. And what I love about a Blanco is when you get to taste the Blanco instead of like, for example, a Reposado and an Añejo, there's not a lot that can be hidden. Uh, you find that if you want to check whether a tequila is made properly and it's a really good tequila, the best way to do that is try it at its most purest form. As far as signature serves go, this is fantastic in a Paloma. It's fantastic in a margarita, a Tommy's margarita, pretty much any cocktail that has tequila in it. Make sure you check out my playlist of all the tequila cocktails because Tromba Blanco will work perfectly in all of those drinks. So I hope you enjoyed my review of Tequila Trumba. Please like, subscribe. See you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.